Thank you, guys. It's great. To you. Could you uh, maybe just take take us through the ninth inning uh, and, and how you guys, when you're struggling to score through the middle innings, what did you have in you there to finish? Well, it? you know, we, we had a left-hander start now, so we pinch hit him. We brought Jack Grace, and everybody knows Jack is not 100% right now, but... You know, you could tell that just the fact that Jack went into the batter's box gave the team a little energy. Then once he got the base hit, you could tell that we were going to have a chance. And then we asked Nolan Sailors, who's been having, you know, a um, little trouble with this guy, to uh, get a bunt down. I wanted to see this guy make a play. I thought if we bunted toward the third base line, that'd be a tough play for that left-hand pitcher. And he made it, which is credit to him. And then Andrew Meggs, who's uh, been kind of scuffling a little bit in the early part, he got a big hit. And then, you know, he hits he hits Clifford and then Wild pitches him. And then Tyler Lozano, you know, got a sacrifice fly to uh, right center. And then, you know, we we asked Ben um, we asked Ben North to jump on top of the plate. And with this new pitcher, I thought he might pull his pitch, and that's kind of what he did. So, and we caught some breaks, but. I thought both teams played really well in not the easiest conditions, um, the cold weather and all. But I was uh, really impressed with some of the defensive plays out there on both sides. How, how in your experience, can a game like this against a rival you know, rally the way that you did? How can this kind of jumpstart you guys a little bit? Oh, it's huge. It's huge because but we've had some late, uh, late game um, comebacks here um, in two or three of our other wins, but not with this kind of intensity. This is a different game, and I've told everybody this: the Creighton Nebraska game is different intensity in the dugout than any other game that we'll play, and um, it's good for our players to who haven't experienced this to get comfortable with that intensity. And I think I think for the most part we were able to do. That. Sometimes in these games we get a little uh, we get a little anxious and we don't play as well, but. Um, I, I thought, we, I thought we did a pretty good job of handling the emotions of the, of the game. What's that message in the middle innings when you know you had the lead, you lost it, you're, you're not able to get anything going? You know, what do you say to the guys in the middle innings? Well, I tell you, Nebraska did a heck of a job because we had a lot of momentum when we scored three in that inning, and they come back and score four. We made a mistake that kind of opened it up for them a little bit, but they scored four. And then we lost some energy. You know, and we're a team that has to play with that. We're just not talented enough to just walk out there and and win a game. We have to play with a lot of energy. And, and we got a little flat in the middle part. But I give their pitcher a ton of credit because he was throwing three pitches for strikes. We didn't anticipate that from him. He hadn't thrown much all season. Uh, you know, I, 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 I hope that we don't forget his performance. It was really, really good for about four or five minutes. You know. It's kind of, uh, maybe walk me through your uh, your at bat there to start off the ninth inning. Yeah, so uh, I knew I was going to be coming in at some late point uh, during the game, and I was just trying to stay mentally locked in the whole game. Uh, it's easy to do against a team like Nebraska, a big in-state rivalry, and um, you know I was told to take a first pitch strike and took ball one, fastball took strike one right down the middle, and I knew he was mixing his pitches pretty well, so uh, I saw that curveball pop out of his hand, put a good swing on it. I guess, what does it say about the resilience of this team when you're struggling through the middle innings and then you, you figure out a way? Right. The ninth I mean, there was always energy in that dugout. I mean, we may not have been putting runs up on that board, but every guy was locked in uh, one through 40. So, I mean, um, ninth inning, obviously, got a lot of energy going. And uh, lucky enough, I was able to be the spark plug you guys need. I mean, every guy on this team's capable of doing that today. It just happened to be me. You talk about being, it's easy to stay focused. What does a win like this over an in-state team, probably a bunch of guys you know on the other side, what does that mean to you guys? Uh, it means a lot. You know, uh, we've kind of been one step forward, two step back. This two steps back this year, uh, playing 500 ball. But you know, I think this one's going to be the one that gets us going. So, well, why do you say that? Yeah, I mean, big big game like this, and you know, uh, just you got to learn how to win. I think, and uh, I mean, that was that's a pretty big one right there. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you.